What is up guys and welcome back to some more VGC 2019 with the Groudon Gravity Team. Uh, so far, I don't really have any ideas for a new team. I don't know what it is about... Well, I wouldn't say VGC 2019 in general. I'd probably just say the Sun Series. I don't know what it is about the Sun Series, but I'm finding it very difficult to come up with ideas. <laughs> ideas with teams... And then while at the same time trying to make sure that those teams don't get absolutely destroyed by a lot of things like Incineroar, which is pretty much on every single team. Uh, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of can't wait. I can't wait for the Moon series because I feel like the Moon series is going to make a lot other, a lot of other Pokemon a lot viable. Like I think Tyranitar might be used a little bit more since you can use like dark, you can use it with like Darkinium Z or something like that. But here we go. My opponent has a Sogalio Groudon, Tapu Fini, Incineroar, Tapu Coco, and Serena. So that could be a uh, Trick Room Sogalio. So yeah, that's gonna be a, that's yeah, that's uh, that's actually quite yeah, that's that's, uh, that's actually a problem. Okay, so let's see, what do we do? Could we go straight up with the Amoongus and Xerneas, and I kind of want to do that. Amoongus Xerneas. In case he wants to go to Galio. And then, do we need Groudon here? Mm -hmm. Thinking, 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 thinking. I know we need Ferrothorn here for sure, And I think I'd rather bring Tapu Lele instead so I can get rid of Tapu Phoenix terrain and put some stuff to sleep. Yeah, I don't think we need Groudon. But then, pretty much, my only attackers are Tapu Lele. And, um, Xerneas. But I have to watch out. I gotta watch out for that, uh, Sigalio. And at the same time, Fini could have Haze. Could have Haze. So let's see. Sigalio lead most likely. Top of Fini and Incineroar. Okie dokie. Okay, so what do I want to do here? I kind of want to switch out Xerneas here into Lele. And I think I want to go for a... I think I want to go for a Sporenton Cinnaroar. Switch out Xerneas ring on top of Lele. And Cinnaroar could have Roar or... Feeny could have haze, so yeah, I'm it's it's weird that he did they, they let off with both of these Pokemon. So fake out I don't know, muddy water I guess. Okay, never mind, my opponent just straight up going for nature's mat in a what the heck? Whose man is this? Going for a U-turn. So you would have given me a free... Okay, a free... Uh, Geomancy. Could have just got a Rage Powder. Um, Geomancy, Rage Powder. Okie dokie, Spore Tapafini. Switch back in, my good old buddy Xerneas. And then we go for Geomancy and all that good stuff. Okay, never mind. This is the reason why I actually I need to grout on. And just still spamming Nature's Madness. Going after a Moongus now. So Gali is still asleep, perfect. So I guess Feeny well, Feeny can't touch my Moongus. So here we're gonna have to go for Geomancy and Rage Powder because I can't risk the Sigalia waking up. If it goes to Trick Room, go ahead. Rage Powder. Geomancy. But I don't think a plus two hidden power fire modest actually one shots Sigalio. That's the re that's the reason why I needed um Groudon. Withdrawing Tapu Fini, probably into okay, Incineroar again. 
Dead him. Dead him, dead him, dead him. It would be pretty sweet if Sigalio stays asleep right here. We saw you turn on. Okay, so Galio is asleep. We saw you turn on the um. What's it called? The Incineroar so it probably doesn't have roar. I'm gonna go Rage Powder and hit him Power Fire. It's a two shot for sure on Sigalio. Two shot for sure. Switch to Sigalio. Does this person know I have hidden power? Does this. Per what? Okay, I'm switching out Amoongus. Let's bring in Lele. Moonblast Incinar. Does this person know I have hidden power of fire? When do you ever see hidden power of fire Xerneas? Why in the world would you switch out just so you can get a fake out out? I'm confused right now. I am so confused right now. Okay, that's not Assault this, And we're probably going to see Sigalio come back out. I don't know why would you do that? Why? He doesn't know I have hidden power fire. But again, I don't I highly doubt I one shot the Sigalio. This double up onto it. Psy Shock and Hidden Power Fire. I don't think that's gonna be enough. Not even close. That's why I need to grout on. Finny's asleep. Sigalio's asleep. Woo! I guess that's what, that's what happens when you just switch out the Sigalio. I don't know why you just didn't stay in. I'm pretty sure if he stayed in, Sigalio probably would have uh, would have waken up. All right. So Psy Shock, Top of Finny, and. Uh... Actually, Moonblast KOs Sigalio at this range, so I'm going to go Moonblast just in case they switch out. Okay, they're just going to forfeit. Yeah, I still don't understand why they switched out Sigalio right there. Why would you switch out Sigalio? Sigalio literally had nothing to worry about right there. Amoongus can't touch Sigalio, and unless they knew that I had an Empire Fire for whatever reason, for whatever reason, um... If they knew I had hidden power fire, then yeah, then they know Sigalio's in trouble. But I mean, other than that, Xerneas' uh, attack, uh, fairy attacks ain't really gonna do anything. Yeah, I don't know. I I I, I just have no idea. No idea why they why they why they went for that. No, don't switch teams. What are you doing? Oh, I got me out. Are you serious right now? But yeah, to be honest, I'm kind of I'm kind of more excited for the Moon series now. I really want the a change because I'm kind of tired of of pretty much just seeing the same Mons again and again. Because I feel like Z moves are gonna change a lot of stuff. Like, I really want to use Tyranitar, but 
I've only used Tyranitar once, and uh, the other sets I wanted to run with it are usually like Z moves, but we can't use Z moves like Darkinium Z. Darkinium Z Tyranitar is one is one of my favorites, but we can't use it because there's no Z moves allowed right now in the Sun series. Let's go with Totem Pokemon. Yeah, so I didn't even need Ferrothorn. So that's, yeah, I should have just brought Groudon because when I switch Groudon in, a plus two Hidden Power Fire Modest from Xerneas plus um, Draw Up one shots Sigalio. Because you already, you saw how much damage uh, Hidden Power Fire did right there. Uh, so with the, so with the, um, with the Sun Up, it would have one shot. Why is it taking forever to find people? Here we go. Someone put Japan. 50, 16 rating. I'm surprised I'm running into some pretty low rated players right now. Usually around this time, I run into like 1670s or something. Uh, here we go. Someone's rocking. E Evelta, Kyogre, Arcanine, Heliolisk, Serena, and Amoongus. Hmm. So other than your Arcanine, you don't... Well, no, actually, Evelta. Evelta smacks Amoongus. <laughs> I kind of like Drifblim and Tapu Lele right here. Groudon. And we bring the almighty, the all-powerful Xerneas. The almighty and powerful Xerneas. And I'm also excited for the Ultra Series... But then obviously that's gonna get pretty annoying because we're already we already know what's gonna happen in the Ultra Series. Primal Groudon and Xerneas. Okay, so Evelta and Heliolisk. Okay, so we're gonna find out which one's faster. i uh, max speed timid on, on Tapu. Okay, they're max speed jolly on the Evelta. So they probably have Tailwind on that thing. They probably have Tailwind on the thing. So we're going to have to put it to sleep. Uh, Tailwind. And let's go for Gravity. They have Glare! Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god. They have Glare on that thing. And snarl on the on the stupid Evelta. What what am I running into right now? They have glare on that thing. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. All right, so hypnosis, the Heliolisk, and let's go for Moonblast into Evelta. Drifloom should still out still out speed. Because of Tailwind now. I just hope I don't get paralyzed. And then I go for another Hypnosis into Evelta the following turn. And switch out Lily into Groudon. Set up Sword Dance. And clean up Shop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Plus two uh, Precipice Blades. What is this right now? They're running glare on the Heliolisk, man. Okay, they're withdrawing Evelta into Arcanine. That was a nice switch. So Kyogre's in the back 100%. Please uh, land the the uh, Hypnosis, please. Yeah, okay. Alright, so... Now we switch out Lele, bring in Groudon, and then put Arcanine to sleep, set up a Swords Dance, and clean up shop. Hypnosis, switching Groudon. We gotta watch out for Heliolisk, because that glare could be pretty annoying, especially on Xerneas. Or you know what? 
Screw that, dude. I think I'm just gonna straight up attack. Wait, does Glare work on ground types like Groudon? Will that paralyze Groudon? I'm a ground type. I don't know how Glare works. Just don't get paralyzed, Driplin, please. Please, for the love of God. Listen to me. Listen to me right now. Do not get paralyzed. Perfect. You know what? Forget that. I think, I, I, I think I'd think i rather get damage off. Yeah, I, I'd rather get damage off. And I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball into Heliolisk. And just think, just... Oh, never mind. I don't have to anymore. But... Just to get damage off. Wait, wait, no. Shadow Ball doesn't work. You're a normal type? I think you're just an electric type. Oh, you're a normal electric type. Okay. I guess, uh... Hypnosis. The Arcanine, in case they switch out. And Precipice Blades. Get a double knockout. First turn, wake up. I love it. I love it. Wow, dude, that was fast. <laughs> that was fast. And you're gonna have to bring out Evelta. Okay, we got paralyzed. I'm okay with that. Tailwind's gone. Tailwind's gone, actually, Kyogre. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kyogre. Yeah, that ain't good. Alright, so... We gotta set up Tailwind, of course, but I think we're gonna lose Dripplin right here. We're paralyzed, so we gotta sacrifice Tapu Lele. GG! This is not good. This is not good. This definitely is not good. We don't outspeed that Kyogre. Glare? Dude, that's just like, it's weird. Glare, Heliolisk. And another Snarl! Oh my god, he's got Snarl on the Arcanine too. What am I running into right now? No! No, I, I don't think... Water Spell does not one-shot Groudon, does it? Get rid of the rain. You know what? I, sh I should have gone for Swords Dance. I shouldn't have knocked out the Heliolisk. I was thinking about that too. I can't. I would have been able to get. Um, I would have been able to get. Um, Tailwind up again. Okay, so I'm gonna go for Precipice Blades and let's go for Geomancy. I'm just trying to knock out the Arcanine. I don't want to take a Snarl. Okay, we do live it. Please grab on Connect. We gotta knock out the Arcanine. Oh, you out speed. Fast Puppy. That's GG. That's a fast Arcanine. It outsped my Groudon. GG, dude. I lost to this... I lost to this weird team with the Glare Heliolisk. And I think they're running max speed on the Arcanine because they outspin my Xerneas too. I don't have a lot of speed investment. Uh, I'm not max speed on either one of these Mons, but it looks like they're max speed on the Arcanine. Yeah, I really messed up. I should have just... I should have gone for Swords Dance and not focus on... Um... And not fo and not focus on attacking, 
I should have burned a couple turns of Tailwind, so then I can just set it up again later. Uh, another thing is the Arcanine protecting right away, waking up right away. It would have been nice to knock out the Arcanine and Heliolisk in that turn alone. That would have left my opponent with just Kyogre and Ivelta in the end. But Ivelta, we already saw Ivelta was max speed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It would have been able to knock off my. Uh, it would have been able to knock off my Power Herb on Xerneas. Yep, that sucked. But hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys again next time.